everything. Without wasting any time, I want you to see him while he's coming on. His name is Mr. Vokes. No jokes. If you don't know Vokes, then I don't know where you live in the dancing industry. Mr. No jokes, where you at? Don't be jealous, guys. <laughs> yeah. Come on. The legendary, the one of the legend. most humble guys. You know, a lot of people don't realize just how big and well connected this guy Dog. is, and it's because of the way that he carries himself. Dog. You see what he just did right Dog. now. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you know how crazy what you just said is. Um, there was an instance where we had just done something, and then he asked me, "He's like, I need you to just go here and collect this, so we can." When I got there, the guy looked at me, he's like, oh, you have for Vox? Oh, okay, cool, no problem, yeah. Take that, take that, take that, take this. <laughs> I remember walking out and I'm like, but now Vox, he's like, no, like, he downplays his connections so much. <laughs> but that's just who he is, though. He's just a humble person. Yo, man, he's, he's crazy. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know Vox, this man is a legend, as Sandy Liss says. His dance CV or his contribution to hip hop is a thousand pages long. And that's just the introduction. And then what he's done and keeps doing is just, yo, man, he's crazy. He's crazy. He's amazing. In fact, this interview is a hijack interview. He's actually here for another meeting. And I was like, <laughs> yo, come, 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 just come be on camera. I'm but he's you. so flexible and so cool. He's like, of course. Mr. No Jokes, how are you doing, my brother? I'm good. I'm good. I'm mm. good. Thank you for the invite mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah man you guys doing amazing stuff here um, and I think the show is needed for um, for the industry to put yeah it where, you know it's not like a normal show mm -hmm. yeah um, it's quite different yeah and um, yeah the more flavor um, and the bright insert was quite cool more <laughs> fire folks more fire why are you so inviting us <laughs> <Spool. laughs> <laughs> you probably know me you probably I mean we love more flavor <laughs> shout out to you my brother but no more fire you know what I'm saying like <laughs> It's, it's really amazing because I feel like, you know, um, people always say Africa is the future. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel like we need to, you know, support what's happening in Africa for it to be the future, basically. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? So, so, yeah, man, I'm, I think like we have what it takes to take take on the world. So while yeah, Ellie is still moving on to that, in a nutshell, for people who don't know who you are, yeah. um, who would you say Vox is to somebody who's never met you and is not aware of your work? Okay, cool. Um, I'm just a kid from the Cape Flats um, that wanted to shine a light on the Cape Flats. Um, yeah, that traveled the world with Profitable City, um, with Brass Funny Cub, um, being on YoTV for five years. And that was mainly just to push dance basically to a commercial platform. And you know, like every single weekend, we're like a million people watching us. Um, yeah, and I mean, like the platforms that um, I've created and being in partnership with. Um, which is I'm very proud of, aside from Red Bull stuff, mm -hmm. um, is Global Dance Supreme. And you know, like my accolades didn't come by myself, you know, yeah. our partners, <laughs> our partners in this. And, yes. and, and I feel like, you know, you have to um, mention those partners because True. people always think like, you know, you are- A one man show. A one man show, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? But to succeed, there's no way that you can succeed as, no as, as one man, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean like me and Fairchild, we fight a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, you know, our mission is the same. You know, we want, we want to change the game. We 100%. always want to be the first to do things differently. You know Absolutely. We want to put a, a, like a high, higher currency on dance. Mm -hmm. So when people think dance, when people see dance, um, there should be like, oh, these guys are getting paid. <laughs> do, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it shouldn't you, be like, you. We oh, shouldn't should be those, like, those guys that are at the back behind the can artists. You just, do, do, do you know what I'm saying? Give them the so, respect that it deserves. 100%, 100%. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, um, you know, we have connections around the world, and what we see from traveling over this past 20 years, um, we feel like, you know, we have to bring that experience back home mm -hmm. yeah. and say, you know, black child, color child, purple child, um, you are actually great and you can do you know what i'm saying whatever we trying to do right now you know yeah and kind of just expose africa to the world basically that yeah is so cool you know um so how i started dancing and whatever not was that we used to go overseas quite a bit every competition i entered you'd always win to go overseas and then when gds came they were like no let them come here mm. let them come here let them experience africa and i think that was so 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 cool because 
there's so many cost implications and cost factors of going overseas because obviously the rent to dollar, the rent to pound is, woo. Mm. Yeah, I know, it's daylights apart. But I think it was such a cool idea and inception that you guys had, you, you, uh, yourself and Fairchild, to bring everyone here to Africa, to make us the, how do you say, the hub of the world because life begins in Africa. Yeah. So why not bring them back here? Yeah. And it's been a journey, I must say, because I'm, I'm a part of the journey myself as the host MC and someone who's very involved in the creation of it and giving the brand an identity. How has it been for you as someone who's a creative, someone who keeps creating platforms for dancers and selfishly, how has it, that journey been for you so far? Um, for me, it's been amazing, you know, because, you know, like that's like Pharrell, you know, Pharrell wanted to be like this hot MC or, you know, rapper or singer. But, you know, um, there's an interview where he actually said, like, you know what, I know my place right now mm -hmm. and my place is to produce, you know, that's where my talent lies. Um, and for me, I take it from, from the same, like, I kind of gave up competing. I kind of gave up um, concentrating on my craft in terms of not, not knowing mm -hmm. what I do, but just to put myself out there as a performer only. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it was like, you know, I have these brands, I have these relationships. Um, how can I create a platform that will create the next Vogue's, that will create the next Fairchild, create the next Ali, basically, yeah. you know? Um, and I use those connections. Um, and I can see right now, you know, like um, I can point people to say like, you know, this one is traveling overseas right now. This one is with the production company. That one is doing that. So for me, um, success is to see people succeed from the platforms that we create. Um, um, yeah, I mean, like that's that's what we all about. We're about community and we're about, you know, putting solid opportunities on the table for for Africa to put it in that way. That Spe so speaking of opportunities, uh, do you feel like uh, the corporate South Africa and the corporate uh, still has a long way to go as far as meeting you guys halfway, in, as far as supporting the industry in itself? Because, you know, dance in itself is an art form that keeps, it keeps a lot of young people off the streets by, yeah, you know, redirecting the interest to something that can potentially change their lives. Mm -hmm. um, 100%, 100%. I mean, like... <sighs> I think corporate don't understand um, how big the dance industry is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they're missing the point on so many levels. And it goes back to agency, basically. Because agency make a call and then client, which is, you know, if brands. It's brands, they were like, okay, cool, that is the coolest. Mm -hmm. But they don't take time to workshop um, the product or workshop the reach or understand, mm -hmm. you know, the legs. Uh, the legs. The and also, like, yeah. if, if brands are clever, right, um, we are a dance nation, a dance continent, right? So I always say, like, when we upset, when we're happy, when we're fighting, music and dance is the strongest thing that gets our message across. Yeah. You know what I'm so people and brands, they really miss it. They really miss it because they see dance. But I can tell you right now, in every single home around the world let me put it in that way there's a kid that's dancing that family and that kid is connecting the whole family to what he or she is doing you know what i'm saying so so let's say okay cool they think music is mm -hmm. you know the biggest it's actually like i can put dance parallel with music basically 100%. you know um just just to concur and to add what you're saying the biggest or well, the number one selling or viewed thing on TikTok, which is one of the most, the fastest growing social network is mm -hmm. dance. Yeah. TikTok, dance runs TikTok. 100%. Like dance is everywhere. People who didn't even know they could dance yeah. have now expressed themselves on TikTok. No, 100%. So I hear what you're saying. And, and, and here's the crazy part as well, because yeah. we think TikTok, we think outside Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm we think we don't have a connection, but now Global Dance Supreme, we actually running a challenge with TikTok. Uh -huh. um, it's called the Mzanzi Dance, you know? Right. And I mean like, yes, we're giving away 100,000, but, but for me, the broader conversation there is, you know, like with that hashtag, um, we have about 12 million people in what? three days um, following the hashtag. <laughs> And, and again, give him some claps. Give him 12 million. 12 million. In three days. In three days. That's crazy. And again, I will say dance is the future because no 
a robot. N- n- no one will be able to, you know, take that away from the entertainment industry. Whew. Do you get what I'm saying? No, oh, man. And just, just the power with, you know, our us partnering mm-hmm. with, with TikTok. It's like, yes, we're from Africa, but we have something to put on the I table. I think they found the value in partnering with a GDS. 100%. And there was one thing I wanted to highlight, just away from the dance a little bit, but just yeah. focusing on you. Um, you have strategic partners with a lot of brands that yeah. people don't normally like mess with. Yeah. Um, when it comes to clothing, you've yeah. got Lee Jeans. When it comes to other apparel, you've got Puma. I and mean, you've maintained those relationships for toe. many years. And then, ladies and gentlemen, um, last year or this year, when was it? Um, last year. Last year. Yeah. Vokes partnered up with Nixon and they made him his own watch. All right. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at that. Look at that. (laughs) What dancer do you know can influence a brand like Nixon to make him a watch? Like, man, I want to know your psyche when this happened. I want to (laughs) know what was going through your mind when they said, folks, we approve. We're going to make you a watch. Yeah. What is going through your mind when this happened, bro? To be honest, um, you know, whenever the watch conversation comes up, it's quite um, emotional. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the journey and also like to be accepted in that form or on that kind of level of, um, you know, it's international brand, it's a surface brand. Um, But for me, it's like they saw beyond just the idea and they bought into the person in my story, um, you know, and, and for me, that was power basically, you know, because the watch is black and gold um, and there's a prettier on it as well. So the story around this whole watch and, and the things like, you know, Nixon didn't come to me. <laughs> Just and, pause it. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Nixon didn't come to me to say like, this is the design that we uh-huh. have for you. You know what I'm saying? Like it was me from scratch basically going back and forth with the team um, in the US. So, so You were go- involved in the design as well. Like, yeah, yes. Yeah, that every, much detail. Every single thing That's on It's crazy, there. folks. Um, I didn't they, even realize. Yeah, the only feedback I got was like, um, we can't do this and we can't do that. Um, but in terms of just having the Protea on there, mm-hmm. um, it's folks coming from the Western Cape, you know. Um, ah, that's amazing. Um, and then obviously the black... Um, it's the up and downs um, mm. of my career, you know, becoming the person that I am today. Okay. And then the goal is, you know, moving from Cape Town to... Uh, the city of gold. The city of gold. What? You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, it's quite limited, um, 100 units. Um, oh, I got number 68, by the way. <laughs> I got number 68. I, I still ordered mine, you remember. It's just that Corona visited all of us in our bank accounts. But I want one. Guys, just in closing, I think this is amazing. Shout out to the Nixon brand for entrusting guys like Volks to, you know, to show that like you can be from anywhere in the world. Well, yeah. If your thinking is right, if your vision is right, they will align themselves with you. So guys, support their brand. If they're supporting ours, we support theirs. And that's what this platform is all about. Speaking of which, I want to return it back to the Global Dance Supreme. Supreme. Tell Honey, us listen. about that. Dates. When are the dates? What Yo. can people expect? Mm-hmm. Um, we're in COVID times right now, but, you know, as a organization, um, we just felt like, you know, we really want to support um, um, dance and we didn't want to cancel the event. So we're going full on online. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, crews can submit um, on Global Dance um, Supreme.com. Um, yeah, we're giving away a hundred thousand rand. Um, the event is on the 26th and to the 29th, of, <laughs> yes, of, of, from of, the 26th of to the 29th of November. Yeah, and Ali is going to be our MC for, for us. It's basically just you know, how can we support arts? Basically, you know, yeah, and our partners <laughs> in this they understand, like, you know, dance need support 100%. for this difficult time, and mm. they came on board. And for us, it's like. It's not about making money for us. It's yeah. about how do we support, you know, um, mm. the dance industry, basically. And again, I, I will say, like, we're not competing with anyone. We're staying in our lane and we just want to change the game. That's it. Woo! That's amazing. Well said, Vokes. Man. One of the most humble guys. So I've had the privilege of also traveling with uh, Vokes um, when we were here at Zinto with, uh, I think it was a proudly South African. Yeah. Right. And I've, I got to experience the work 
end side of him. You know, when you look at, like when you're exposed to somebody who's as talented and as great as, as he is and the humility, I, I, it's no surprise that like Puma works with you, Nixon works with you. Some the guys from high offices really think highly of you. And I think this is an example of how you should, you know, this is who you should morph into. Mm -hmm. And also congratulations, he just got- um, He got married and married. he's got a baby girl by he's the got name a baby of Jada, girl. she's beautiful. So the energy is right, mm -hmm. the yeah. energy is right, yeah. folks. Thank you so much, dog, for joining us Thank you here for on the me. Thursday thingy. And uh, Ilima Jola, one of the greatest MCs, dog. I actually wish you all the best for that dance thing because I feel yeah. like we all want to see this thing grow. And other brands, if you're watching right now and you're a brand, if you're a brand manager and you feel like, you know what, I love the story. I love mm. what Vogue stands for. I love what Ellie stands for. And I want to play a part in this. Please visit their websites. Um, and uh, see what you can contribute. What's the website again? Um, globaldancesupreme.com 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>